Hey there! This time I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to do some torn paper edges in After Effects. Um, I've used this on a number of projects, whether it be for some quick lower thirds or for a stylized title sequence like so. What we did on this project was film this guy on a green screen with a DSLR and shot a series of images brought it into After Effects as an image sequence, keyed it out, and then used that as our basic shape and put this torn paper edge around him to get this kind of home improvement style uh, cartoon, sort of stop motion done with paper cutouts. And I've had people ask me how we did that. Did I manually cut it out each frame, or is there some kind of trick to that? And uh, the answer is, there is a trick to that. You can use this effect on basically anything, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to apply it to a text layer, but the principles apply to pretty much anything. All right, to start off, we're going to start with a new composition. I'm going to call this text. Let's go for 1080 preset. That's good. All right, a new text layer. If you're on a Mac, Command Shift Option T. Text. Awesome. Command Home to make sure that that is centered in the composition. Now we're going to go and pre-compose this. Zero, 01 Map. Okay, so first things, we're going to duplicate this. Command or Control D. We're going to go over to our effects and presets. Add Matte Choker. And then we're going to add a Fill. So essentially what we want to do is take the alpha of this text layer and expand the edges so that we have a little bit of room to do our effect. Let's put the fill on here. I'll leave it red for right now so that you can see what is happening. Change the choke all the way, all the way down and then just bump up the iterations until the text gets nice and bloated. And you can season this to taste for whatever works um, for your project. For this case, that'll work for now. Now I'm going to call this mat, put it below. So now we can see our original text on top, and it's still on alpha. We've just essentially expanded the edges. Now, going to go and add roughen, oh, if I can type, roughen edges, punch up the scale and the border to give it some variation. Do one more, and we're going to take the scale down a lot on this one. And this is how essentially get just some paper edges, almost as if you tore them. It's not entirely photorealistic, but it is really quick to do in After Effects. Now to give this some uh, color so that it doesn't look so darn ugly. Go through, make a new composition, call this paper, new solid, command Y, for those of you who love keyboard shortcuts. We'll do kind of a whitish yellow, pretty much white. Okay, we'll duplicate that. Go over here, add the grid. Change this color to a bluish. And there you go, graph paper. But I don't want graph paper for this. I want. I want to do line paper. There we go. Now I will do another duplication of this. I'm going to change this one. Actually, we'll just reset it. Change the color to pinkish. Now we've got uh, some really quick lined paper. 
and uh, you can go through and make this a little more accurate if you want. Um, normally, I would use uh, I would use an actual paper texture, an actual image, but for this, just a quick tip: this comes in, might come in handy someday. Bada boom. Go back to our mat, drag in our paper, make sure that it is below the mat layer. Change the track mat to alpha. Now we've got some paper. We can go in and change the change the color of this guy. Give it a warmish gray. If we like, we can actually go in and add rough and edges back onto this just to break it up a little bit. That's way too much. And I just kind of play around with the values until I get something that I like. Let's go in and rotate W to bring up the rotate tool. We can uh, change our lines a little bit, scale them down if we want. However, and if you want this outline to be a little thinner, just take these back down. And there you've got a nice outline. Some people don't like doing pre-comps. I am a personal fan for this very reason. You can go back into this and change the text and it will update in here. So there you go. A quick way to make a paper texture and torn edges all in After Effects.